County Chief Registrar for 21 years, having been involved in the 2002 and the 2012 redistricting process for the county. When redistricting came up for the 2022 process, I attended the commissioner's meeting that redistricting was discussed. Commissioner Warren recommended that the district lines remain the same as there were little population shifts for any one district. At this time, the board asked for a teleconference call with the legislative and congressional reapportionment office. Brian Knight with reapportionment joined them in a discussion on the if and whys of the importance to stick with the proposed map as drawn. After much discussion, the pros and cons after the conference call with Mr. Knight, the county attorney, Hubert Reeves, recommended that the board adopt the map as proposed by the reapportionment board stating that if not, the county could be opened up to being sued, but not this way. That being said, the board voted to accept the new 2022 redistricting maps. Returning to my office, I immediately began to seek guidance and assistance for this process. For this, I reached out to the reapportionment office. I spoke with Gina Wright, the director. She referred me to Sandra and Gabby was told that they needed a resolution from the county and Board of Education. After much consultation with them, I then reached out to Hunter T. with the Coastal Regional Commission, director of their IT department for assistance with obtaining the redistricting maps for this process. He worked with the state reapportionment staff and produced the maps for us, which I went and picked up. During this time, as president of the Georgia Association of Registrars and Election Officials, referred to as Gabrielle, I learned at one of our conference planning meetings that an election official from Bartow County, Cheryl Miller, was an excellent resource for the redistricting process. I reached out to Cheryl Miller immediately for assistance as the new drone district lines had three districts touching within the city of Sylvania and other indicator lines which were very confusing for me to determine throughout the county. I had the assistance of Travis Forehand, County Road Superintendent, who assisted me in the 2012 with this process, which made it much easier. Cheryl graciously offered her services and worked with me on this for a couple of weeks, doing extensive work with me and getting the information she needed. And then she called and said that she would not be able to finish as there were too many issues involved with the district lines that would need hands-on oversight. Also, at this critical time of redistricting, the election supervisor, Ella Rose, resigned, and very quickly thereafter, the election superintendent hired Hannah Deroso for that position. Hannah got on board, very smart and intelligent and enthusiastic. At this time, she said, and I at this time, she and I had conversations about the difficulty of my hopes in getting the process completed on time. As a result, she graciously offered to do the process for me, saying, I know how and I can do this. I was very thankful and shared with her all of my contacts, which she immediately engaged with in her endeavor to successfully help complete the redistricting process. In the redistricting process that Hannah did, I would have thought that these voters in question would have been moved to their correct percent and their correct precinct as the maps would have shown them as residing in that district. I personally agree that unintentional mistakes have been made, but it is something that can be and will be corrected. Okay. And on the 